Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of a new series, Composing in Pentatonic Parallel, Part 1, Gathering Resources. Today we started with the napkin diagram, and our goal was to look at our pentatonic parallel scale reference sheets, which include spreadsheets and musical scores and elements and energy factors in music. So our first question is what pentatonic parallel scales do we have available and which ones need their reference material updated? So we went through old times back here two years ago and these are the scales that we're working with. The 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 36, 34, 32, and a 4, 5. And then these kind of reflect across to the right. It's for every every two, for every two seven, there's a seven two over here, and like that. Turns out there are eight of these, and here they are all listed nice and pretty for us here. And um, we decided to double check our calculation of consonants, and we had to make one little update here. This is actually a 1.60 consonants, which is between one and three, it's about half consonant. And so we did that, we reflected that. And in doing that, we also went back to our full detail sheet that has all of these um, reference scales and their chords spelled out. You may remember this is the one we used in the last stream, the 2662. And in particular, we had to update the consonants here for for that one. So um, the other thing we realized in looking here is all of these scales need to add two more chords, what we call the 1-1 one, one chord and the 2-2 two, two chord. And it had already been done here. Uh, we, had, we had wanted to add them because they proved useful in composing one of our other songs. And it turns out that seven out of the eight need those things added. So we've got our work cut out for us here. The next question we had is what of these eight scales have we already composed with? And in order to answer that question, we went through our YouTube channel labeled Pentatonic Parallel Scales and went all the way down here and we made a master list. So it turns out that the ones in dark black, we have done compositions in, including the one we just did in the last series, 2662. And then these four, although we have done some experiments with them, We've never yet done a full tonality composition, so those are candidates for us to look at working with next, which is where we're trying to go. We're gathering our resources. We're going to compose in pentatonic parallel, and um, uh, one of our ideas is to the theme of shadowing. Another one is uh, a theme of sea change, and another is using two or more different pentatonic parallel scales as a musical element. All right, so we reviewed, we updated, we da -da 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 -da. And what do we need to do next? Well, I guess the other thing we should point out, we, we reviewed what are pentatonic parallel scales. And that's kind of important for us to highlight on the grounds that we're going to be using them. <laughs> so they are two scales with five notes each. And we're picking this scale as an example, the C3663. One, two, three, four, five. Both scales have the same root note and the same middle note. So C is the root and A is the middle note. We use five. This is a shortcut for middle. One scale has a minor mode note and the other has a major mode note. So this has the minor and that's the major. Each scale has a tail middle urge note. That means is it comes right after the tail. And each scale has a lead root urge note. And that's a note that comes just before the root. 
The scales are parallel reflections of each other. What does that mean? Root reflects middle, so there's root versus middle. Minor reflects major, there's minor reflects major. And tail middle reflects lead root. I guess we could say that the other way around. Let's let's do that. Lead root reflects tail middle. And those are important because those have urge energy. Added together, the two minor major scales produce a full tonality mode scale with more than five notes. In this case, they added up to six. And um, and then we were calculating consonants and the, wanted to make the point every pentatonic scale has five intervals that add up to 12. Just like every trichord has three intervals that add up to three and so forth. You could say a pentatonic scale is a five chord if you played everything at once. And what are what do we need to do next? We need to we still have something to uh, a list of energy factors like tempo, volume, harmonic consonants and dissonance, root change, and begin updating these things over here with the one one and two two chords, and then start exploring this idea of shadowing and C change, um, and and probably picking what what chords are we going to work with are we going to work with all, everything in red or, or what we don't know yet so we have gathered our resources and launched ourselves and appreciate your time and attention and look forward to seeing you in the next stream and as always keep on streaming <laughs>